man. It's only episode two and Mario's already slacking off. Wake up, you slacker! <laughs> hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, Mario and Peach wanted to go on vacation, so we came here to the illustrious Isle Delfino. Only to find out that there is some other Mario here who is causing trouble. We've been branded a criminal, and per court order, we are tasked with cleaning up the island. So, how about we do just that? But first, let's go talk to Princess Peach. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're safe, Mario. This vacation has just been a whirlwind of bizarre events, huh? So, it's Mario's Bizarre Adventure, you say? Hmm... Nah. And now, the boat to the hotel isn't running. This island seems to be the victim of a bad turn of fate. Oh my, yes. I, I miss Toadsworth. Okay, back to Bianco Hills. Down with Piggy Piranha! So here's going to be the general structure of the series going. I, I just remembered. <laughs> There's something I forgot to do before coming in here. Oh, well, we'll take care of it before, um, before we do the next episode. Uh, generally speaking, here's how the structure of the series is going to be uh, moving forward. When we go into an area, we will take care of half, roughly half of the uh, the level area, whatever, uh, before ending off the episode. But we will also be having uh, getting one or two shine sprites in Isle Delfino uh, before uh, taking care of the actual level. Uh, just for the sake of getting some stuff done efficiently. I honestly forgot to do the Isle Delfino shine thing before moving on this one, so we will take care of that after we are done with uh, PD Piranha. And if you look down there, you can see a Pianta who is just kind of standing in place. For some... Uh, something that is kind of funny is if the, uh, Piantas are too far away from the camera, they just stop moving. It's basically a way to, uh, save memory and RAM and stuff within the game's code, but I just find it funny. Okay, so with Petey Piranha, what you want to do is wait for him to open up his mouth and then spray him with a ton of water until he gets an outie belly button. Then, you promptly smash his belly button down. It's pretty easy, honestly. Especially if you take care of those little inky blob guys before uh, Petey opens up his mouth. Although, for some reason, they will occasionally still spawn in. I don't know why that happens exactly, but, um, because, like, you can see we've already taken care of all the, the goop. But, uh, I don't know. Who cares? Rule of threes? Die. And he becomes chocolate milk mix. 
hot chocolate mix. Okay, back in Delfino Plaza. Let's go get ourselves a shine before I... before we go get anything else. So, over here, there is more uh, platforms. Obviously, I showed... I showed some of these in, um, well, I showed this area last episode, but, um, you know, let's go down the pipe. This is but one of many secret areas, well, quote-unquote secret areas in the game, that basically, uh, will give you a shine sprite. This particular one is a slidey puzzle. Which is pretty darn cool. And it's pretty easy. Let's get that shine. The hillside seek the ha the hillside cave secret. I cannot read. So, um, <laughs> Real quick, before we go over to the cave, though, there is something that I'm going to be doing in every episode from here on out. Basically, if we come over here and spray that bell, we get a 1-Up Mushroom. There is quite a few challenges later on in the game that are actually pretty darn difficult. And, um... I do actually appreciate that, um, because, like, as much as I love Super Mario Odyssey, m most of that game is pretty darn easy, um, so it, that's one of the things I do appreciate this game for, is the fact that it's a bit more challenging than your average Mario game. But, like Captain Olimar, my motto is, always be prepared. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> so here we go with uh, one of these little areas. And uh, honestly, I really like these areas. And one thing that I really like them for is... Every one of these areas has a 1-Up Mushroom that you can get pretty easily. There's almost always at least one of them. And it is honestly really nice that they do that. Because this game can get a little hard, but Nintendo typically knows how to... Uh, pro Oh, for fuck's sake. First death of the project is literally me just falling off because I'm stupid. Way to go. That That is a great omen for signs to come. Ugh. At least the 1-Up Mushroom comes back, but... <laughs> that, is, that is a great sign of things to come. Oh my god. Ugh. I can't even be mad at that. That was amazing. To be fair, the stars, um, like the edge of the stars, are a pretty small platform, so it is pretty easy, all things considered, to do that. Let's get that shot. What are we doing back in the hillside cave secret? Well, um, well, as you could probably guess because of the title of Hills Hillside Cave Secret, um, there is a secret shine involved. So, a 
I'll see you guys when I'm actually in the hillside cave secret. Okay. Back in this area. But now, there's a big red button. And if we press it... And... Jump away, because apparently I cannot control Mario for shit. Uh, we get to collect eight red coins. And if we do it within the time limit, then, obviously, we shall get a shiny. And not the annoying kind of shiny, like in uh, the Moana movie, but the uh, good kind of shiny that glistens and glows and, and makes us feel good for having numbers go up. The time limit in this in these uh, types of stages are actually pretty mean. Um, like sometimes uh, you just barely manage to get them by the skin of your teeth, and other times, uh, and other times it is just uh, not. Like you really need to go go go. You know. So, uh, let's grab the one-up mushroom while we're here. And it will top off our water, which is uh, very, very good. Because uh, in these areas, you can't actually refill your water. So, uh, yeah. After getting the shine, though, uh, <laughs> I don't like getting that one-up mushroom without the hover nozzle, because uh, it can be pretty tricky, because depth perception fucks with me a lot on that one. <laughs> Red coins of Windmill Village. We go from one level collecting red coins to another. Watch out! Well, at least we know what to expect now. Yeah, basically, uh, the first half of a video regarding a level in this game will be, um, us going to get, uh, the first five, uh, shines. Like, doing the first five or, like, first five missions. And, uh, the second episode will be us dealing with the uh, with the remaining missions, you know, if we can do them, because there are some that we can't do until later. Um, that ow my face. That uh, you know, since we can't do until later. We will have to wait until later. Later, dude. <laughs> I hate those things. Those little fucking assholes that um, are windy and they'll like blow around and stuff. Those guys can screw off. Um, oh. I was like, where the hell am I missing some red coins? But there they are. So as you can see, there's all kinds of flippity doodah jumps that you can do in this game, and like Mario controls like a dream. Um, one little thing that I am not a fan of regarding the original though is, um, in the original Mario used to slip and slide a little bit when you stopped running, which made precise movement kind of a pain in the ass, but as you can see here, he stops on a dime. It's really great, and it's little stuff like this that make me prefer the 3D All-Stars version of the game uh, over the original. Because otherwise, uh, Mario is kind of a pain in the bootay to control at times. Which, um, 
Because, like, this game, uh, as you can kind of tell from the blocks in the in the windmill secret thing, uh, will ha occasionally have you platforming on small platforms. There we go. With nine lives and eight shines? Yes, eight shines in tow. I think that will end off this episode, all right? Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we go in and mostly finish off Bianco Hills. We're not going to be able to completely finish it off, but we will be able to do most of what is remaining there. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I'm going to drown these bananas. These bananas need to die. Suffer for your crimes! <laughs> I murdered the bananas. Fear me, dear viewer! <laughs> A 70 centimeter square window. The sky's a bit clearer today, the rain has passed me by. I went and opened up the window again, I can't remember why. Besides that I kept into 